Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to create your own uh, egg sac imitations for trout and salmon uh, using sponge. Uh, this was a tip taught to me back in high school by a friend of mine and it became one of my go-to tactics uh, to catch spring trout and salmon. It's, pretty, it's really simple, it's cost effective, and they're, it's pretty durable. You know, a, a regular egg sac is going to a regular egg sac is not going to last you real long, uh, one fish at most. Uh, this sponge is a lot more durable and it's going to hold the scent in a whole lot longer than a regular egg sac. So what I've done is I went to the store, uh, I got regular sponge, I, you know, this is all I could find in one with a scour pad, but that's okay. So what I'll do really is uh, just, you know, I'll, I'll cut, try to cut the scour pad away, um, so I'm just left with sponge to work with. So actually you know, we're gonna work with this one. So now that we're just down to the sponge like this, um, what we're gonna want to do now is cut it up into little squares or little balls if we can that imitate uh, egg sacs. So first I'll take I'll take this corner here. All right, so now, as you can see, we are left with a nice ball, just like in a regular egg sack. Now, what you're going to want to do after this, though, what I always do is I go to the store and get a bottle of Berkeley Powerbait uh, trout scent and soak these. I'll make probably a couple. I'll make, I can get a couple of dozen of these balls um, from a couple of pieces of sponge, so that'll last me a couple of weeks. Soak these in. The scent for you know, a couple of hours to overnight for a few or for a few days. Now, one thing you're gonna want to remember though with this stuff, these do float, so you're gonna want to add a little bit of um, a little bit of weight, probably a you know a split shot or two, depending on the uh, depending on the body of water that you're that you're uh, fishing. But like I said, these will these are pretty durable and they last. They hold the scent a lot longer than regular egg sacs. So. Best of luck this spring, and uh, send pictures to uh, my Facebook page if you catch any. So uh, for Pushing the Wild Limits, I'm Jason Reed. We'll see you next week.